Hi there. I am getting ready to mail out some deconstructed art journal pages. I was in a swap in the month of July and the theme was junk. All of these pages were made from things that we normally would throw away. But I want some junk envelopes. So I went through my stash, and because I've done a lot of swapping in the past, I do not throw away these envelopes. And these are envelopes that are padded with the bubble wrap in there, and I think I need those for this because these are, these are pretty thick, and there's some bulk on them, and I have all the embellishments in there. So I have used my craft paint to smear out the addresses, and since this particular envelope is kind of like a plastic one and it dries slower but for the most part I was worried that this paint would not dry and it does dry it just takes a little bit longer to dry on plastic but what I want to do is with my sewing machine because this is really something I would normally toss but I have these potato chip bags and look at this beautiful, look at this beauty here. Let's wipe this off. Got a little paint from the underside. Let's get the envelope out of the way. I want to sew this beautiful, beautiful silvery inside of the potato chip bag to this envelope. So I'm going to split this envelope on the sides and lay it out flat and then with my sewing machine, I'm going to stitch the potato chip bag to the envelope just to decorate the envelope. That's my plan. Before you use a potato chip bag like this, you want to get out your baby wipes. But give your, give your potato chip bag a good wipe down. So it gets all that grease and salt that's left on the inside of the bag. Just kind of wipe it off and then kind of dry it off. And I go, well this is just not quite enough for me. I love the silver, but it needs something more. What can I do? <laughs> well we know what we're going to do because I have this fine liner out and I have my craft paint out. What I want to do is something like with my fine liner that looks like this. Now this is in the drying stage. This has to dry naturally. The paint on here must dry naturally. Natural dry time. And it will dry. It just needs time. If you take the heat gun to it, you'll melt it. And I rounded the corners of this by just holding the heat gun to the edge here. But isn't this cool? Isn't this fun? So what I'm going to do, just to show you, this falls into the category of my fine line fun. And it's what you can do with fine, a fine liner, craft paint, a potato chip bag, a potato chip bag that you would normally throw away. <laughs> oh dear. We just don't toss anything out in our in our mixed media multimedia crazy art journal world. It says use these potato chips by July fifteenth of twenty fifteen. Well I accomplished that. So I'm going to go into fast forward and I'm going to show you how I use my fine liner, which has been filled only with the craft paint. I do not have any airbrush medium in there. I do not have any gel medium. I don't have anything else in this fine liner except for craft paint. So I'm going to do a design on here and on, I have, I have four of these to mail out, four pages to mail out. So I'm going to do four of these and get them stitched to my envelope 
and I will come back and show them to you. But I want to show you the technique of using a fine liner filled with craft paint on different kinds of, uh, of uh, a substrate. And so for today, I am using a substrate of the inside of a potato chip bag. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go into fast forward and you can watch.